Today, let's talk about automated water testing. Welcome back to the channel, guys. This is Paul, and today we're gonna take a look at how my Neptune Trident has been performing the past few years, along with some new players who's gonna be coming onto the scene with their version of automated water testing. And with that, let's take a look at my computer where I will show you some of the new products that will be coming out in 2024. All right, so this is the Trident system from Neptunes, and they've been around for a while now, and I've been using mine for a while as well. And it's been running pretty solid. The reagent is actually not bad for what it is. I normally buy the six month pack because that's the best deal that there is out there. And it's been working fine for me. It's a very quiet unit, and I just go in and replace the reagent when I need to. Here is my current Neptune Trident right here, and I, I like how it's integrated within my system, so I don't have to worry about opening up another app and waiting for that app to notify me if I'm running out of reagent. It's all baked into this one centralized app for the Apex system, and I get alerted through my phone and also a text when something is wrong. So I like how it's all together. Now, the only thing it doesn't do for me currently is measure PO4 and NO3 because I really like to ensure that my nitrate and phosphates are measured at least once a week. Currently, I'm doing that manually, but I would like to get away from doing that because I am always busy on the weekend, which is when I normally do my test. So if I could find a way to automate that process, that will make my life that much more easier to maintain this process. And if I could find a system to automate those two parameters, that will make it that much better for me and this hobby. This is my dashboard here. We're looking at the Trident setup. It lets me know my alkalinity, my calcium and magnesium. And the other thing it does also let me know is I can go to the setting here and define my container size. And when my waste container is almost full, it'll let me know so that I can go in to flush it out or drain it out. The two parameters I would like to be able to automate is the nitrate and the phosphate. Now, if we look at the different units on the market right now, we have the Reef Bot. This is the V2 version, and we've seen this one out in the market for a while. Um, I don't have any experience with this one, but it looks like it's going for $8.99, and this is the V2 model or version. But they do have a newer one, which is the Reef Bot Lab. This one looks to be similar in in design and operation, but instead of being rectangle, it's more of a cylindrical setup. Reef Factory has this unique tester. This is the smart tester, and I've been eyeing on one of these units, but I haven't seen it become available. And the goal here is to buy two units so that I can test both parameters, phosphate and nitrate. Those are the two that I still need to automate right now. And I think this is a really good product based on what I've seen so far. And I like how the reagent here is cartridge set. So it's kind of like your typical printer, your inkjet printer. You just pop the inkjet in and pop it back out when it's empty. Same deal here, pop in the cartridge when it's new, pop it out when it's empty. And they do test the two parameters that I would like to get tested, which is PO4 and NO3. So this one here, I'm assuming will drop sometime this year. Um, it may have already been released in different markets, but I don't see it readily available in the US. So this is one I am excited about. The other one here is the Mastertronic Essential, which they've been talking a lot about this unit last year, uh, towards the end of last year, but I haven't seen any update yet. And I don't even know if it's out in the market for anyone to purchase but they do test alkalinity, nitrate, phosphate, calcium, and magnesium. And that's essentially all that I would need to test in my reef tank. Anything outside of that, I would rather just send it in to get an ICP test. But if I could achieve the PO4 and NO3 and automate those two, I think it'll be a big win. So this one is coming out soon. I'm excited about how they changed the way in which it tests. So instead of having a needle, there's actually optical sensor that counts the drop. And I think that is just a bit more accurate 
and that will require less maintenance because you're not having to go in to replace a needle every so often. And the last on my list here that I want to talk about is this new unit by Kamor. So Kamor decided to get into the game as well and they're developing their own. And based on what I see here, they're calling it the Reef Master SPA. And they're utilizing the same technology as the Massatronic and the Reef Bot. And they're providing basically six elements to test here. Your calcium, magnesium, KH, NO3, NO2, PO4. And they're doing this in a very small compact unit. The good thing about this unit is that they're also providing their own reagent. So they're not using third party off the shell reagent. They are providing the O reagent, which means that they have full control of the color and they can or should be able to give better accurate reading. So these are some of the ones that are going to be dropping this year. The Reef Master SPA. You have your um, Essential by Mestronic and your Reef Factory Smart Tester. These are three I am looking forward to. And I hope once they drop this year, we can all get our hands on it and do a bit of testing to help each other out. If you know the pricing of these units or if they've already dropped already, please let me know where one can be had down in the comment section below. I will be looking there. And if you haven't already subscribed, please do subscribe to my channel as that really helps me out. But honestly, I'm just curious, is this something that is worth your time to automate this testing process? Personally, I am really excited about the products that are going to be releasing and I am looking forward to them to be coming out soon this year. Again, guys, thank you for stopping by and watching this video to the very end and I will see you in the next one. Thanks.